We got to talk about these treasuries right now. Taking a look at the yields, we're talking about the 30 year now trading at its highest level since about 2007. Similar story for the 10 year. Does that change your view when it comes to fixed income and how you're advising your clients to invest? No, I think it's still, you know, the, the, the view we've had for the past couple of months still still there. I think, as you mentioned, it's looking, you know, when you look at the move in a 30 year bond, it's looking like it's going to be higher for longer when it comes to, to interest rates um, and also uh, looking at just the way that investors are thinking right now. So, so I'm looking at it from a standpoint of where we're going economically. Um, if you look at what the Fed is poised to do, I think they're looking to see unemployment rate change before they make any sort of move or change in the, in the, in the mandate that they've been going with so far. So, so our expectations stay the same. Um, I think for investors right now, uh, we've seen the last couple of months been a lot more volatile in the equity market, and that's obviously has a little bit to play with what's been going on in the bond market. So, right. so those things have to play a part in, in how you're constructing a portfolio right now, because because it just really is a situation where it's okay. different than we've seen for the past. So you mentioned some economic reports, obviously the jobs report, PCI, um, I mean PCE, CPI. We're always looking at these economic reports. We actually have one that could be meaningful today. I'm talking about retail sales out at 8.30 this morning. Now, this report comes after the XRT, the retail ETF, had its best day since June yesterday. What are you expecting when it comes to retail sales? And is this an instance where good news is actually good news? We see retail sales pretty strong, and that doesn't increase the odds of a hike. Yeah, I think this will be a situation where Good news, like you mentioned, it could be either good or bad. But I think we'll potentially see a strong reading here, and, and again, that could play a part in in how the strong the consumer is right now. And this consumer has been pretty strong so far. And a weakening consumer uh, could be a situation where investors could be looking at, you know, gaining more confidence in, in what's going on going forward. So I think that if we're looking at it from a, a surprise, either on a 0.2 percent increase month over month, if that changes, you know much a bigger surprise to the upside or to the downside, that will definitely have an effect on the markets. Because again, the consumer has been strong so far. If you look at, you know, the XRT, you know, reading hasn't been that strong. Some some companies have done fairly well. If you look at Lululemon okay. uh, year to date, but it, overall, it. you know, that reading hasn't done that strong. So really quick, I want to get your take on the Fed. So honestly, when I was talking about retail sales, I was kind of thinking that it might influence the Fed, um, even though most people think we're going to see a pause coming up in two weeks during the November meeting. Um, if retail sales are stronger than expected, because they've been pretty strong, there's actually been upward revisions over the last couple months. Do you think the Fed factors that in? Where are you at when it comes to a pause or a hike in the next two meetings? Yeah, 100%, I think the Fed factors that in. Uh, obviously, they're still factoring in, you know, all the numbers we're seeing um, on the CPI and all the numbers we're seeing on the PCE. So, so that will be factored in. And I think, you know, one thing I, I, I thought was super important for investors to, to learn right now or see right now is, is what happens, you know, when we see a change in interest rates and what happens when, you know, we see a potential um, recession coming out of the pipeline. So those are the two big things that investors are I'm actually looking at is when we'll see, you know, a change in consumer, potentially, and this is one of the readings that will show us that. And also if we see any change in what the Fed's mandate is, because it's been strong so far, say that they're waiting for right. more data to be able to change or even pivot 